Mandela Park Historic Festival. We're here with the Guinness March Formula One car that was driven by Derek Daly back in the 80s and sponsored by Guinness, so it's a true Irish connection, so it's a, it's a big deal to have him back here in Ireland for this weekend. This car now lives in Jacksonville, uh, Florida. It's part of the CJJ collection, so John Cantillon has a really, really impressive collection of cars. The nice thing about John is he uses them. He, and John's saying these are race cars, they're built to be driven. It's really just John bringing the car back here to reignite its history and how much of it meant to people in Ireland to have that F1 car with the Irish driver and the Irish company on board. That's him being So has John seen all this? I don't think so. I, I don't know them all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first test I know of the car before it, before it even became a Guinness car. Now this, and this was the earlier one, because the modified car was this one that had a honeycomb yes. front over the top. Yeah. Cross here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> After John Campion and driving some of his cars, being the historic cars that they are, that it's very, very important to respect the history of the car and not trash it. You know, it, it's it's important that these cars have a lot of value, so you have to bring them back in, in the way that, that you got into them and uh, just enjoy the car, give Irish Motorsport a feel for for what it was like back in the day, but most of all, make sure it comes back in, uh, in one piece. Derek Daly seminar and Derek Daly as you know is, is the man who raced this car back in the day in Formula 1 and uh, in Derek's seminar top of his chart was desire and commitment and when he mentioned that it just dawned on me and became a reality that desire and commitment is, is John Campion. John Campion is an Irish man from Cork, emigrated to America when he was 20 years old, big about his Irish roots and a huge petrol head. It's Team Ireland, the Irish colours are uh, a big part of us. John being an Irishman himself, I'm very, very proud of it. Setting up Team Ireland. Without John, I wouldn't be racing, and um, I don't think many other people would be that, that, that he supports. So. Okay, I've got everybody. So at the beginning of the year, we got some bad news that uh, John had unfortunately been diagnosed with leukemia, and uh, as you can imagine, it hit us all pretty hard. He's uh, got diagnosed with leukemia and, and said, this is not going to get the better of me. The fighting Irish spirit came out of him. He, he really dug deep and 
He said, no, I'm Irish, I'm, I'm fighting, I'm fighting strong here. And uh, we, him and I had a bit of a joke every time we used to text each other during his illness. We used to put hashtag the fighting Irish at the end of it. And uh, eight months down the line, he's here in Mandela Park driving his Formula One car, the most Irish car you could ever come across in your life. But Derek Daly driving and Guinness on board. And a man who had leukemia, um, diagnosed it eight months ago, driving it. It's just, it's a definition of the fighting Irish, and um, it's it's unbelievable to, to see see what he's done, and it's just uh, inspiration to us all.